like he's still the worse for wear, huh? Mr. Drippy, we have to help him. Right, go, Ollie boy. I better explain how it's done then, innit? Don't. First thing you'll need to do is to take the locket Treeface gave you and fill it with the piece of heart our friend is missing. Uh, the piece of heart? That's right. One of the bits we're all made up of deep down. The bits we're made up of? I don't understand. How can I put it? Ah, just give it a go. You'll soon work it out, man. First off, what that guard's missing is a drop of good old-fashioned enthusiasm. Find some and give it to him, and he'll be right as rain. Okay, but what do I? It looks like he's drowsing off. Well, now feast your eyes on that other guard over there. Well, he's clearly mad. More than a sack of squirrels. If he hasn't got some enthusiasm to spare, I'm a monkey's uncle. That's nicely, and I'm sure he'll give you a lend of it. Or he's special. I'll try my best. Ha! 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 Hey! Wee! Ha! Hey, how's it going? Excuse me, sir. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Some of your... I just want to borrow some of your enthusiasm. Aha! Well, if it's enthusiasm you have to, I've got plenty to spare. Take as much as you want. Sure. How do I get the enthusiasm out of his heart? Ah, the take heart spell. You need to cast it first. Take heart, huh? Sure. I'll just rip it out of his chest. You're too damn enthusiastic, sir. I will solve that problem. Oh, suddenly I feel like an empty husk. Thank you, child. I'm gonna go kill myself now. Tidy! Looks like you got yourself a locket full of enthusiasm. Now, you just gotta give it to our friend over by there. Okay, here goes. What did you do to me, kid? Oh, he still is pretty damn enthusiastic, if you ask me. Only took like a fraction of it or some shit. Enthusiasm, give heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I'll give you your heart. Give heart to you! Okay. Give him this nice little jelly candy. Experience some magic. Ooh. Beautiful. It works. Oh no, it incinerated him. Uh, tidy. Looks like he's back in the land of the living. What's happening? Where am I? May I well, ask well, why well, you have a spear with, with us, a I fish see. head on it? Yes, I feel so strange. As if a weight has been lifted from my heart. I feel better. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I was worried about you. I'm sorry. I wasn't myself. But I'm back now. And ready to work harder than ever. Well then. These fine people have all come to visit our great kingdom. I think we'd better let them in. Indeed so, we had. <laughs> this way, everybody. How long was it like this? Wouldn't they send someone, I don't know, out and be like, Big fucking pile up at the gate there. Shouldn't someone do something about it? Nah, just leave them. <laughs> like, what, really? What the fuck? I can't thank you enough, but I'm sure I'll receive your fair share of stamp merits before performing such a heroic feat. Merit stamps? What are those? You mean you helped me without even thinking of merit stamps to earn? You'd, ha you'd have to... <laughs> you do a have a merit stamp card, don't you? You use the collect stamps award to helping those in need. If you don't have one, you should you should visit Swift Solutions in the town. Pick one up. Stimmy rambling on. This case is open. What are you waiting for? Isn't it? Blah blah blah. Yeah. Now let's just get inside. We can finally tidy. We can finally go inside. So you and your catchphrase, tidy. It's my trademark, tidy. Ding dong. Hell. My own personal hell. I definitely got a fish theme going on. What the fuck? We're finally here. We're finally in Ding Dong Dell. Indeed we are, Ollie Boy. Oh no wait, that was the wrong voice. Indeed we are, Ollie Boy. There's a few unseen snags in the way, I'll admit. But all's well it ends well. And I and I was going to take you to see Tree Face eventually anyway. Righto. On the on on with the wand hunt. The king's pal the king of this palace knows a spell or two. See if you can help us, shall we? A real life king? Sure. I guess that means we had <clears throat> we should head to that big old palace over there, huh? Uh okay, oh, I get the move. <laughs> oh, a nice little map. 
Oh, sparklies. I love sparklies. Oh, ten guilders. Ten guilders richer. Who stuck ten guilds or guild? Who stuck ten gold pieces in a pot and just left it? I always wonder that, like in Skyrim. Come on, man. Something about. Oh, wait, it's not gonna let me go this way. Something about laying an egg. I don't know. Fuck. Ah, something about a cutscene. That's what it was. Of course. Oh, a real cutscene. With animation. It's so different. Because it's animated. Stop staring, man. It's rude. But look at those goofy clothes. Goofy? Are you blind? You are the goofy one around these parts. Huh? Ah, look at his funny clothes. Oh. Look at his funny clothes. He looks like a loser. So Holding a stick. Crikey! We better get you a new outfit before they put you in the zoo. Come on, Ollie boy. Uh, okay. Why do those windmills look so fake? <laughs> They look like they're detached, the blades. Oh, now they're attached, like magic. What the hell? I'm sorry, Alibi, but no matter how trendy you are in Motorville, your clothes are just plain out of place here. Are they really so strange? But it's all this is all I have. Then we'll just have to buy you some more, won't we? There's loads of shops here in Ding Dong Delmon. One of them must sell clothes, ain't it? I guess. Okay, let's go find a store where I can buy a new outfit highlighted in red. Oh, okay. Oh, gee. Maybe it's where the big fucking star is. Right over there. <laughs> yeah, you look like an idiot. Are they giggling at me? Uh, funny looking thing. She looks like an owl. Excuse me, ma'am. You sell clothes that... and From this war, I mean... Do you sell regular clothes? Clothes, dear? Oh, hoot. I'm afraid we all we all don't have any in stock at the moment. Don't tell us that, man. We have... <clears throat> we have you see... Have you seen the boys... How the boys dress? He's a flippin' embarrassment. He's getting really funny looks wherever he go. Main Street, Creed, and Ruins. Ooh, a fairy. Okay, I guess I better use an old lady voice in. I used to see your kind all the time, but I bet, uh, uh, but I'll bet the children these days don't even know who you are. You were telling me kids these days, man. Disrespectful, arrogant, downright rude. They wouldn't know a fairy if it kicked them in the flippin' shins. Not like you, eh, missus? Now, how about these clothes? Oh dear, who? Let me think now. Ah, now I come to think of it, there was a traveler who left a set of clothes here upon a time. He bought a new outfit, you see, so he left his old one behind. Ruffy, rough, roughly man-shaped and cheap? I shouldn't doubt, Tidy. Well, take it. But, Mr. Drippy? Yes, yes, now I remember. He was the one who... Yes, he said they were very special clothes, made from a fabric woven of the fibers of, a sky, of the sky tree, if I remember slightly. Lovely and comfy, extremely hard-wearing, and lucky to hoot. Lucky to hoot? Why does she talk like that? She does talk like an owl. Looks like one. I, I think the only problem would be the size. If it's you who are going to wear the outfit, dear... I'll need a few hours to make some alterations. <laughs> it would look hootish on you. How do I? I could you come back tomorrow morning? Of course we can, man. How's about that? How's about that, Ollie boy? There's Lucky. Nito, thank you very much, ma'am. A pleasure, my dear. Toodle-hoo for now. Turn till tomorrow. Hoo -hoo 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 